It's a story about really taking young people's ideas and making them relevant in a grown-up world. It was all about technology, it was all about how forward-thinking individuals, companies and groups could start to solve some of the world's problems, especially relating to climate change. It was always a dream, kind of this pipe dream. Like, what? it's a really good idea, but no one will ever listen to us, no one will ever make this happen. Forest Guard is basically an early wildfire detection system. It uses solar-powered cameras mounted throughout the forest. From there, they use a radio frequency to broadcast the pictures of the forest to the internet, where anyone can view through a website or software interface. This enables the public to be the forest guards to keep our forest safe. We went to meet the uh, Forest Guard team, myself and, uh, and Daniel and Adina, who are two very bright engineers in, in our R&D group. We went over to Copenhagen to, uh, to find out more about them. Certainly it was good for us to get a, a better understanding of, of their concept and why they would got to the, the solution they had and what might be involved in taking it forward. Here, which is actually just a diagram to show you what it would do, the cameras take the pictures and they can send them to each other send them to the hub, and then the hub sends it to an internet, the internet sub sends it to a computer. The kids have this idea, and they've gone so far as they can go with this idea. The Sony engineers now are going to come and say, okay, how can we make this happen in the real world? And they're the ones that are going to be able to take these children's idea and put it into a real world um, possibility of happening. Today is all about evolving the project even further, so go, taking it from a, quite a nebulous concept into taking it through to advising, guiding, taking it to prototype stage even, and really testing it and giving it a kind of proof of concept really. We've actually come up with a camera that we think will be able to help you solve your problem. So there's different things in here for you to look at, for you to see whether you can look at implementing this into the solution. The next step really will be to have a trial in a forest. And we are hoping that um, the kids are going to be really pleased to see it finally realised. We're also hoping to bring in an academic called um, Graham Kent and we're hoping that by engaging the academic community through this, we're actually going to add a great deal more value and, and interest and probably quite a lot more know-how. Well, today's the first day of the camera in the wild. The one aspect that really caught my eye with the Forest Guard vision was the interaction of the public in trying to help us suss out what's a real fire and what's kind of a false alarm. And so this whole idea of having screen savers or, or little applets, widgets that allow you to see the fire and then vote, and as a community, very similar to Twitter, to essentially determine if a fire is going on or is, it, is igniting. Seeing the team and getting an idea of their passion and imagination was very motivating for, for our people. I think they certainly could not have imagined letting that team down and not delivering something. The time I've met these kids, I think it's fabulous. One of President Obama's high priorities is science, technology, engineering, and math education. And we've been very interested in these kinds of competitions where kids actually build things that get real jobs done. And it's a terrific way to get kids interested in science and technology and doing things that really matter. If I can imagine back to when I was their age, the thought that an idea that I'd had would actually be up there and recognised and respected by the real world, I think that's a dream. So I think it is quite uh, appropriate that Sony should be a, a company that is, if you like, daring the next generation to dream. Thank you.